Hi, I'm Chope Hutchings, and if you've watched plenty of my videos in the past, you'll know that occasionally I like to do a video that is creative and expands the possibilities of BandLab. And this is one of those videos. Because in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a live arpeggiator in BandLab that you can use to play live or to record with. Tap on the plus icon. Tap on virtual instruments. Scroll through the tabs. Tap on synths. And then here, I'm just going to tap on Saw Sign. Now I chose Saw Sign, but you can use any sound you want. Then tap on Effects. Tap on the plus icon. Scroll through the tabs. And tap on the Pitch Shift tab. Then tap on Pitch Shifter. Now, Tap on the shift text box, type in zero, and tap on save. Then tap on the back arrow. Next, tap on the MIDI editor icon. Tap on the grid to add a note. Then tap on the note again to delete it. This creates a blank MIDI clip. Now tap on the X icon. And tap on the X icon. Next, tap on the automation icon. Tap on the automation drop list. Tap on Pitch Shifter, then tap on Shift. Now, two finger pinch out the screen to zoom in on the blank MIDI clip. Now tap on the automation line five times to add five dots. Then press on the first dot so it is red. Then drag the dot so it is at the start of the blank MIDI clip and the pop-up says 0ST. Then press on the second dot so it is red. Then drag the second dot to the second beat line on the ruler and the pop-up message says minus 7 ST. Then press on the third dot so it is red. And drag the third dot to the third beat line on the ruler. And the pop-up says 0 ST. Then press on the fourth dot so it is red. And drag the fourth dot to the fourth beat line on the ruler and the pop-up message says 7ST. Then press on the fifth dot so it is red and drag the dot just before the end of the blank MIDI clip and the pop-up message says 0ST. It is important that all the dots are on the MIDI clip
Now, tap on the automation line four times to add four dots between the first five dots. Then press on the first dot so it is red and drag the first dot to the second beat line on the ruler and the pop-up says 0ST. Then press on the second dot so it is red and drag the second dot to the third beat line on the ruler and the pop-up message says minus 7ST. Then press on the third dot so it is red then drag the third dot to the fourth beat line on the ruler and the pop-up says 0ST. Then press on the fourth dot so it is red and drag the fourth dot so it is above the last dot and the pop-up message says 7ST. Now tap on the automation icon. Then tap on the MIDI clip. Tap on the copy icon on the pop-up menu. Drag the screen so the track position marker line is at the end of the clip, which is also the start of the second bar. Tap on the blank area of the track and tap on the pop-up paste icon. Then drag the screen so the track position marker line is at the end of the second clip and at the beginning of the third bar. Then tap on the blank area of the track. Tap on the pop-up paste icon. Then drag the screen again so the track position marker line is at the end of the third clip and at the beginning of the fourth bar. Tap on the blank area of the track and tap on the pop-up paste icon. Next, press on the blank area of the track behind the fourth clip and drag your finger across all the clips so they're all highlighted. Then tap on the three dot icon on the pop-up menu. Then tap on merge. So now all four clips a one clip. Then move the track position marker line to the end of this one clip. Tap on the clip. Tap on the copy icon on the pop-up menu. Tap on the blank area of the track. And tap on the pop-up paste icon. And you can copy and paste as many of these as you need along the track. Now tap on the settings icon. Scroll down the screen. And tap on the MIDI overdub toggle. So the toggle is now highlighted white. And MIDI overdub is turned on. This will allow you to record over the MIDI clips on the MIDI track without deleting the track automation. Now tap on the audio icon. And now with this set up I can double tap on the instrument track header. Tap on the play icon and then when I play the keys the ARP will play live.
And if I want to record the ARP, I can tap on the record icon and play the keys to record the ARP. And then when I'm finished, I'll tap on the X icon. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.